father, I didn't see you. From the time we were infants, we were equipped with the survival instincts necessary to respond with fear when we sense danger or feel unsafe. Fear helps to protect us, it makes us alert to danger, and prepares us to deal with it. My name is Rafael, and we will be talking about fear. Hey brother. Oh, hi. So Relly, yeah. tell me, what is fear? Fear is what triggers your flight or fight reaction. Flight means you run away from the thing that triggered your flight or fight reaction. And fight means you try to solve what's trying to and what triggered your flight or fight reaction. Okay, thank you, Brad. So Sylvia, what is fear? Hey, Zico. Oh. So, explain to me, what is fear? Well, actually, I'm actually researching about fear. Uh, in my research, fear is an intensely unpleasant emotion in response to perce perceiving or recognizing a danger for a threat. But there's different types of fears. Nowadays, people are scared of viruses or being left out and everything. Okay, thank you, Zico. <laughs> trigger for fear, threat of harm, real or imagined. The threat can be for a physical, emotional, or psychological being. While there are certain things that fear in most of us, we can learn to become afraid of nearly nothing. Everybody, my name is Jaden. I'm going to talk about fear and how to deal with it. Fear is an emotion caused by our brain, and fear can be good for us sometimes because it can warn us if we are in danger. Now, I'm going to explain how to deal with our fear. Try conquering our fear every day, or try getting a family member or friend to help you conquer your fear. Thank you. My greatest fear is being ignored or the feeling of being invisible or alone. Some ways I cope or deal with this fear is by talking or texting with my closest friends. But if they're unavailable during the time I need to talk to them, I will talk to myself in my room as if I'm talking to someone I'm very close to. If I am hanging out with a group of friends, I would most likely feel invisible and ignored. So the way I cope with it while I am with the group of friends is by texting a close friend who isn't there. Another one of my fears is the fear of forgetting. Whenever I forget something, I always start panicking, especially when I forget where to put an item and when I forget an information or material for an exam. A way I cope with forgetting where I put things is by putting it in one place. Like for example, on a table or a bookshelf. A way I cope with forgetting information is by repeating the information in my mind or reading the information repeatedly until it's stuck in my mind. Hello everyone, today I am going to tell you about my greatest fear and how can we solve it. My greatest fear are I am scared of big spiders or you can call it as arachnophobia, the deep ocean or you can call it as thalassophobia and fear of failing, or you can call it as a tidy phobia. 
I am scared of big spiders because they look so gross and look scary. And I am scared of the deep ocean because they look so big and empty. And I am scared of failing because I am scared that my parents will mad at me. We can deal with our fear by trying to face your fear if you're brave enough or try to calm yourself first. Because if you don't calm yourself, you will be stressed out and you will feel anxiety. Or you can talk to someone like your family, friends, or someone you trust. If for me, I try to face my fears first. If I am too scared, I try to calm myself first. After that, I try to face my fear. That's all, and thank you for hearing me. Fear is something in your mind that triggers your flight or fight reaction. A flight or fight reaction is something that can make you decide how you are going to handle the situation. A phobia is something that you are afraid of. There are many types of phobias. One of the most common ones are arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, thalassophobia, the fear of the ocean, and there are many more. But my greatest fear is the fear of height. One way you can deal with your fears is by practicing seeing your fears over and over again. Over time, uh, you won't get as scared as you would be before. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>
where traffic is super congested. According to statistics, the city near us, Jakarta, 70% of air pollution comes from vehicles. Objectively speaking, we have really busy traffic. The average car owner in Jakarta spends 68 minutes stuck in traffic and another 21 minutes searching for a spark, searching for a parking spot every single day. So, in order to solve this, we could use more public transports such as a bus, the BMRT, or if the distance is closer to us, you could walk or ride a bike instead of using motorcycles. I personally live in Bukitina area, and I know some of you do as well. Previously, I have used a bike, and now I usually walk here every day. Yeah, it's a planet.